so if you want to see how i got this nice tropical look stay tuned i am doing a um short tutorial with juvia's place and this is about like maybe my fifth or sixth maybe maybe fifth or sixth tutorial with juvia's place so they're gonna have to start cutting me a check um this is the palette i will be using the nubio nubian glow palette hi welcome back guys so today i'm going to do a quick look with another new palette from juvia's place juvia's place gonna have to start sending me um you know makeup you know, like, they, they had to start hooking the sister up because, you know, the last few um, tutorials I have done have been with Beauty Twist. Um, so, today we are going to use the Nubian Glow Palette. Oh, see? Oh, damn it. I thought I was going to catch it this time. Oh, my God. Okay. So, here is the palette. Make sure you guys see all that pigment. Okay, so now I am just blending it all out. Um, I used the yellow shade and the deeper orange shade, and then I took that orange glitter, popped that on there. Now I'm getting ready to deepen up the crease. Again, this is another Juvia's Place palette that I'm using to deepen up this crease. So, yeah, I'm going to need my coins. Now, I use this trick to keep my lashes on a lot longer and stronger. I put the glue on my lid, and then I also put the glue on the lash. Now this is Fenty 385. You're going to see coming up real, real soon. I use a darker shade um, as well. So I use 385 and I also use 400. And it kind of just helps to blend it out a lot better because you know like your face has different color spots on it. Um, it's not exactly hyper pig pigmentation, but it's just that around the contour areas is a little bit darker. So now I do the same thing with my concealers. I use one lighter concealer for right underneath the eye. And then I use one that's a little bit closer to my skin tone, right underneath this one. And then I'm going to just blend it all out. And it comes out so much better. It's like flawless. Instead of using just one bright ass concealer under your eye. Yeah. So now this is my favorite powder to contour. That's Ulta. And it's in deep warm. And I just dust that all around the perimeter. All up in the cheek area you know I might get underneath my degolette if that's what it's called you know underneath your chicken neck so now I'm just setting in the concealer in all the different spots y'all know how this go y'all well if you don't because this might be like your first time watching a video you know you'll get the hang of it pretty pretty soon now to keep your eyebrows from getting oily put some setting powder on it and I promise you, it'll last like all day. As long as you're not doing nothing real hefty, like you ain't working out or nothing like that, then, you know, it'll last like all day at work. If you got to, you know, do a photo shoot um, and then you have to like do a little bit of running around, it'll last. So now I'm using a deeper color uh, banana powder just to put a little bit more bronziness back in there because you don't want to look ashy. Okay. Now this is my favorite powder, Black Radiant Soft Effect Blurring Powder. It just makes everything so seamless, I promise you. It comes in two colors. I can't think of the two colors right now, but it's really only two colors for the soft effect. And they're both bronzy looking colors. So now I'm just contouring my nose a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of the bronzer. This is Beauty Bakery's Brownie Bar. So it has a contour bronzer and a highlight. And I'm just going to dust a little bit of that on here. And we're almost done. This is my favorite part. The highlighter is my favorite part of doing makeup. I don't know why because you only use a little bit of it. So I don't I don't know. I just I just feel like it makes everything pop. So my morph set and spray. I don't know is it morph or is it morphe? Because I feel like everybody says it a different way. It's like Morphe, the bougie way to say it. Like how people say outre and outre. I don't know. Anyway. So now I'm just going to line my lips. 
any dark lip liner will do you can also use a dark eyeliner if you have one of those instead and now this is also beauty bakery's matte lip whip color um i want to say it's fortune cookie the color but i don't know might not be oh my god y'all hold on my cat just jumped up here and i'm allergic to cats don't judge me get down y'all hear her okay so now i'm just smoothing out my eyebrows brushing it to like thin it out a little bit i'm gonna add a little bit of this blush also a juvia's place palette coins please a little bit of this blush that boom bam kablam we good to go now i'm finna slap this wig on and i'll be right back And I'm saying though, you know I'm back like I never left. Bam! And that's the finished look. <laughs>